The ascoxa is actually made up of three bones, so you, need, you are responsible to know the regions that are the individual bones. The whole thing all together is the ascoxa. This region right here is the ilium. This region right here is the ischium. Here is the pubic bone. So ilium, ischium, pubic bone. There are a couple of big features that I want to point out. This socket is the socket for the head of the femur bone. It is the acetabulum. This hole is a foramen called the obturator foramen. Let's find a couple of features that you're responsible for on the three individual bones. On the ilium, you're only responsible for the greater sciatic notch and the iliac crest here the greater sciatic notch, and the iliac crest. Um, on the ischium, which is this region, you're responsible for the ischial tuberosity. It is this rough spot right here, and that's actually what you sit on, covered with muscle and fat. That is your ischial tuberosity. Okay. Here, um, here we have the ischial tuberosity on the ischium. Just superior to the ischial tuberosity is the lesser sciatic notch. Now, from this view, you can see the greater sciatic notch, which is part of the ilium, and you can also see the lesser sciatic notch, which is part of the ischium. And here's the ischial tuberosity. The ischial bone goes about like that. Then we have the pubic bone right here. Now, when you take two oscoxi and put them together, you're going to have a, a joint right here. And when we take two osteococci and uh, articulate them, put them together, we have a left and a right osteococci. The two pubic bones form a joint. And right between those two pubic bones is the um, pubic symphysis, which is a cartilaginous layer um, that joins the two together.